again. So, the fun thing about hydroponics when they're little, when you have them in their own little cups, so you have to feed them until the roots are established. This guy's got some roots. He doesn't really need to be fed today, but since I'm doing the rest of them, I'm going to go ahead and give him some juice. And this is about a third mix of Donny Grove. This guy, pretty healthy. I mean, he's coming along, but. The third mix won't hurt them, and until all of them kind of get where they need to be, I'm just going to feed them all the same thing, so uh, I don't torch them, because once again, it's really easy to overfeed and torch plants in hydro. Uh, yeah, pretty much everybody's showing some out the bottom, put out a few that weren't. Uh, one of my seven pot bubble gums and uh, seven pot Jenna Orange are not shooting anything out the bottom of the rock wool yet. And still, just with the uh, humidity in here, it's been fine. The, the rock wool is still wet. It's a big thing, you just don't want the medium to dry out because that will kill them immediately. You gotta catch that really quick. So one thing, uh, this one of the plants, this is one of the first ones to shoot up. It's not a super hot plant. The Corno uh, de Toro Orange. It's a very leggy plant. Like It shot up and um, had plenty of light, but it's just a leggy plant. And here's his brother. Oh, he's good. Ruin the camera. But anyways, the plant that's actually <laughs> bracing my camera right now is uh, pretty much identical to this one. So it just kind of stretched out a little bit. You have a lot more length between the nodes coming out, but they look happy. Um, they actually. Uh, starting to dampen off a little bit those are the initial leaves but it's coming back pretty well they look happy and the roots on these guys if you don't see that I mean just really good root development and uh, one thing I've learned I started some plants the same way hydroponically in uh, October Is that you don't want them to get root bound. It just makes life a lot more difficult uh, when you try to transplant them. So, it's something you want to be careful with. And I haven't really had to deal with it before. Uh, that's all part of the, lear the learning curve with it. that goes white. I'm looking forward to seeing how this guy comes out. He's got he's got absolutely no root so far. So you just want to keep the uh, the rock wool damp on it in the time being. So even though like it's a, it's a healthy looking plant, um, all the root mass is still in the rock wool. You don't have anything showing out the bottom yet. Jay's white tie. Um, once again, another really leggy plant. I've got two of these, but one of the bigger root systems. I mean, for the size of the plant, it's just throwing it off. It's really thriving the hydroponic system. So, that's something that's nice to see. And when you transfer it to soil, uh, 
That's one thing I look forward to at the end of the season. I'm not going to keep all the plants, but just pulling them out and taking a look and seeing how the root systems look on these things. See if it carries over and if you have a more developed root system at the end of the season. probably going to have to cut this off in a second because I'm using way more of my mix than I was planning on and uh, I've got some other plants going in here that are going a little bit harder on the mix so it's a scotch bonnet seven, uh, seven Jonah uh, mix that I thinned really early on so this plant started a long time ago it's pretty big um, they have a, a full nutrient mix. I'm going to have to cut down real quick so I can finish watering all the little guys here. So, we'll say one of the hazards of hydroponics is nuking your plants, which I did. I overfed some plants. That guy... It's my Fatali White, which I was super proud of, was super healthy, absolutely nuked it, and he's kind of bounced back a little bit, but as you can see, fucked up my devil's rib, another devil rib I took out, that's my uh, Pimenta Puma that I killed, this Pimenta Puma is trying to hang on. Uh, Scotch Bonnet 7 Jonah kind of took out this thing. That's a, a purple ornamental which is trying to hang on. So, I mean, you got to be careful with hydroponics. Uh, dirt's definitely easier. And I've gone to hydroponics strictly due to not trying to have dirt in the house and trying to cross contaminate with aphids. So, I guess practice makes perfect, and I'm far from perfect, but I'll take what I have so far. And uh, this Mylar, I love this. I'm really happy with the purchase of this shit. Got this. This is a Vivo Sun. I think I paid $35 for a, it's four foot, uh, it's by 100 feet, it looked like a really big thing of wrapping paper that came from Amazon and uh, if you're looking for some reflective wrap I'd recommend it for the price I'm very happy with it it's pretty mirror like so alright guys y'all have a good night and uh, catch you on the flip side